So what's the game plan for trying to get uh, do, do two jobs at once here for the next couple of weeks? Well, you know, fortunately, you got a staff here that has uh, has uh, done a great job. You know, um, kind of getting us up to speed and carrying it through the last couple of days. But uh, um, you know, we'll be working both ends. Probably the best thing is it's a three-hour time difference, so I can do all my work here and and mesh it along with the stuff on the other end of the country and and uh, work on the Fresno State stuff. You know, later in the evenings uh, because it's a lot earlier. You know, uh, three-hour time difference. So uh, sh we'll get it done. We'll get it done. This is all about these guys. Is they're they're you know this this year. Um, this is about having a special season and finishing it off the right way. So are the logistics still in place for you to be able to coach the Gator Bowl game. That, that that's really what we're trying to, to trying to work out. You know, and I want to do it. I want to make this uh, this season. You know, finish it off the right way in a special way. Um, I mean, obviously, there's a lot of things that are happening on both ends, but uh, um, you know, these are this is all about these guys. It's all about these players. I want to have them, you know, realize nine wins and, and get that done, and um, you know, finish what we started. And uh, I just, uh, I'm, I'm so happy with you know how things have worked out here in this program. Just uh, you know, those guys, uh, the staff, have put a lot of time in uh, building this thing, and you know, me coming in, uh, the least I can do is help them. Uh, get that ninth win and the Gator Bowl win. Fresno is not an easy place to get to. How many back and forths we going to do between now and January? Yeah, it is. Now, the one thing is, is you know, they're out of school. They're finishing up their finals yeah. as well, just like us. And so, you know, it isn't like the players are there. Um, yeah. And, uh, you know, the staff's out on some break as well. So, you know, we can do a lot of things over the phone. Uh, do you lean on Coach Allen much? I mean, just because you've, you've got somebody that you can maybe knock on his door and ask him about – how did you navigate this when you were going through the first kind of days when you were a head coach and that sort of thing? Yeah, no question. Um, I'm a lifelong learner. I'm going to learn from everyone that has done the job. Uh, and Coach Allen's done an awesome job of, you know, leading the team, leading the program. And, you know, on the other end, I, I utilize the coaches uh, that I know, you know, that have been through the Fresno State years and, and counting on those guys to give me, you know, great guidance as well. Given your ties at Fresno, I think a lot of people expected you to kind of be the lead guy. But mm -hmm. was it tough decision making in terms of you know you had just moved your family across country and now you're yeah. moving them back and what yeah. went into that? Yeah, th those things are hard. Um, and uh, you know we've moved quite a bit over the last five to ten years, and um, that's probably the hardest thing of this this whole deal is your family and your kids having to build new relationships. Now this one is probably one of the easier ones because we have a lot of friends there. We were there for two years, but. Um, you know, as far as the decision and the opportunity, um, you know, there was a time where I wanted to be a head coach, and it's a program I know really well. Um, it's a program that I know uh, we could be super successful at and, and do great things. And you know, I couldn't be more excited, uh, you know, for this opportunity. It was it was certainly the right fit and the right time. Coach, obviously you've been a head coach before and an OC before coming here, but Coach Allen's real big on bringing in a guy that was basically the head coach of the offense. How much did that experience? I know everybody was involved, but you kind of running it and. And you coming in and bringing in your baby, how much does that help yeah. you going when you get to take over Fresno State? Yeah, I think, um, you know, there's just there's so much involved. This staff here um, and how they welcomed me in, yeah, we brought in a system. Um, but there was a great foundation in place. Um, there's great players here that made a lot of plays. Um, you know, don't look into the, the calls too much. There's not magical calls. It's execution. It's the day-to-day, -day, um, just us being all – on one page, a common voice amongst the whole staff. It's that organization, it's that you know belief um, that allowed us to have the success we had this year. Um, you know, the play calls might be called something different, but a lot of the concepts are the same. The window dressing might be a little bit different. It might have my little touch and feel to it, but the, in the end, the guys made all the plays. The players made the plays, and you know, that's gonna be my message for them moving forward with you know however the, the position is filled, and however the staff comes together, is believe in what you're doing. And when that happens, um, really, it's, it's, you know, you can call not whatever you want, but you can call a lot of different things, and there's a lot of different ways to win. And, uh, you know, I just, I know this staff will continue to keep it moving uh, in the right direction. Tough to tell the offensive players here. Did you meet with them at all? or did yeah, you? yeah, I haven't had a chance. Um, I tried to call. Um, things just happened so fast on that end. Um, yeah. um, as fast as you heard about it, it was really about as fast as it happened mm -hmm. on that end as well. So I was able to call. Just a couple of guys, uh, you know, started with really the guys I meet with the most and the quarterbacks and, and um, you know, getting into day, it's just, you know, we're right into practice and there will be a time where I really want to share my thoughts with, you know, the team um, and the offense as well. 
um, in particular and, and just you know share how special of a time this has been for me over the last 11 months. It's pretty it's tough being torn between the two places you know obviously you're practicing for the, for the bowl here but yeah. knowing what you have what you're in Fresno. Yeah yeah there's 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 a lot of things that are going on for sure you know but um, again I got great people on this end I got great people on that end and uh, they're all willing to work together work with me and so you know we're gonna get through it be just fine. As you start to look at Tennessee just kind of what do you see, I guess? Yeah, I, you know, um, I know the rest of the staff has done a lot more um, of, of watching film. And, and uh, you know, I've watched it. I've uh, watched them with the quarterbacks today. Obviously, they're very, very big up front, um, do some different things, a lot of different things in the, in the secondary. But, um, you know, I, I feel, you know, I feel like whatever it is, we'll find a way to match up and, and get things in our favor. Um, nothing will be easy. I mean, they're an SEC defense that, uh, um, has played really well, I think, the last half of the season, you know, in particular, and probably played well because they play team, fo team football. Um, they've done a better job that way as well. So, um, you know, today and tomorrow will be really probably the more in-depth uh, watching of the film and, and really putting the game plan together, um, you know, with all the situational stuff and so forth. I know when you came here, you, you know, visions at some point of wanting to be a head coach, but when you first came here, did was your thought that, well, Jeff's going to be around two, three years anyway, did you think you'd be here longer than one year? Yeah, I, you do. And, and, and my philosophy has always been work the job as hard as you can wherever you're at. And um, um, I really did. I mean, you know, you wouldn't want, if you really drew it up and you knew that that was going to happen, you, you probably wouldn't drive across, move across the country and one year, you know, be moving back. But uh, uh, this was an amazing opportunity to be with Coach Allen and build on what they had started, uh, you know, um, just, uh, I just looked at the staff when I came. I remember coming on the interview and just seeing myself mesh in with these guys, and um, there's some great minds. There's some great minds and great people on this entire staff, and it's been a blast working with all of them. So did you talk to the director press conference? You said something to the effect, kind of like it's going to be about love here, just like it was yeah. about love and blue. Can I guess yeah. specify a little bit more what you mean by there, that? I mean, there's a secret to the success. And um, Coach Allen, you know, I've always gone places where there's a strong, um, there's strong feelings of how I feel with, with the foundation and the belief and the philosophy that the head coach has. And wherever I've gone, I've been very careful to go to those places, you know, where I had those similar thoughts. And this is one of them, you know, Coach Allen and just how his philosophy, me philosophy meshes with what I believe, um, it was super important. And that's exactly how I feel. You know, love your players, coach them up. We're all in this together. Um, there's going to be good times. There's going to be bad times. Um, in the end, there's going to be growth. And, uh, you know, that's how I feel. And, you know, there's so many philosophy, philosophical things that I will carry on to that program and things that I've learned from Coach Allen along the way that will, you know, make us make me a better head coach uh, than I was the first time around. Kind of piggybacking on that, that, you mentioned learning things from Coach Allen. What are some specific things you kind of learned from him? You know, he kind of took on the, the coaching job a few yeah. years ago. I, you know, to me, uh, he just reiterates the passion that you have to have to, you know, when you have to be convicted in who you are as a person, and uh, when you do that and you can be who you are around your team, um, you can do what you love and have a lot of fun doing it. And uh, getting the whole group around you uh, to follow in one direction is, is, is an amazing feeling. I can just see, you know, the, com the, just the confidence that he has in himself is, is starting now that we have players that are playing at a high level, it's starting to come out in our team, you know, at another level. So. Um, and I just think, you know, with the recruiting end of it, uh, you know, how hard he works as a recruiter. I think uh, there's a lot of head coaches that do a good job. I think he's going to be one of he's, you know, he's one of the best that's out there for sure. Hey, Kevin, talk to you. I don't think since the, uh, the bucket game, obviously you guys got off to a fast start, kind of hit a little bit of a lull in the mm -hmm. second half, but made some huge plays in that overtime, the third and 13 day Nick, um, yeah. and then obviously the pass to, to uh, Peyton and then the, the touchdown run by Peyton Ramsey. I mean, just for you, how... I guess, how awesome was that you know, to see them kind of bounce back after a little bit of a rough patch in the second half and, and make those plays? Yeah, you know, it was really a different game. It, it, the game evolved differently than it has for us all season long. Um, yes, we started fast, but the way we did it was on the ground. Yeah. And, um, you know, there was, a, there was a thought in my mind, you know, just knowing what the forecast was going to be and, and feeling like it was going to rain more. Uh, I knew we needed to establish the line of scrimmage early. And so that was done intentionally. Um, and uh, we got that done. And then, you know, the, vault, the game kind of evolved to, you know, I think we threw it 11 times in the first half and probably close to 30 in the second and overtime. And so, you know, we ended up kind of getting back into doing what we do and uh, developed a little bit of balance there in the fourth quarter. 
and overtime, um, you know, especially the overtime, it's just amazing to see the guys come through with those great plays. And um, they just executed. Really, that's what they did. They did their job. They believed in each other. And, uh, you know, uh, we were great on third down, you know, especially third and longs. And, uh, you know, that's a tribute to the staff and the game planning and the belief that the guys had. Um, there's fundamental things that I was so excited about when I turned on the film after the game. Uh, just Peyton, um, Ramsey being uh, executing the, the touchdown pass to uh, Nick Westbrook uh, in the first overtime. There's just little subtle things where you know when you've watched that that they truly believe in what you're coaching. And uh, it was, it was, there's just little subtle things that a regular you know, fan of the game would see that I'm so proud of when I watched that film. Given how close that he being appointed head coach at Fresno State was to signing day, how did that work out for you in terms of locking recruits in? It was, uh, you know, um, it was kind of fast and furious. Uh, the staff there had done an awesome job. Um, you know, we got the 12 guys that we were going after, and um, you know, so that that um, there's there's still a couple open spots. It wasn't going to be a big class because there wasn't a lot of spots to fill, um, but they did an awesome job finding some some great players, uh, some guys that fill some needs and so forth, but. Um, you know, we hit the ground running uh, in January and, and fill those spots and continue to build for the future.